Okay, so this is the all team update. All right. We'll go through this here real quick. So we'll go through the sales highlights. We had 19 new program. We, we actually sold more than 19, but I'm assuming it's 19 that uh, actually, like are planning on paying. I think there was a couple uh, businesses we talked to who maybe got a little too excited and forgot to check their bank account and their, their spending power. So it is what it is. Um, that's a good sign though. I like that. 19, uh, awesome. Uh, 13 of them. Uh, just signed up and said, we don't want any special terms. It's a long-term vote of confidence, which is a big deal. Um, again, we are tightening up uh, retention and attrition. Um, you know, that's a good thing. I, I'm looking forward to the day where it's uh, single digits and even lower uh, someday when we will have no attrition. Um, it's just part of the game, though. We've got a lot of uh, legacy month-to-month -month customers. The, it's no secret the economy is not doing great. Good times should be ushered in here uh, pretty soon. And if this is what we're doing when it's tough, I can't wait to see what we're doing when uh, you know things are a little more loose, okay? So great job. Uh, you can see that adds up in a hurry, right? 29,000 in the net gain, that's you know almost uh, $400,000 in annual recurring revenue. That's a great job, great job, new biz, uh, fantastic. CMO updates, we uh, have one full-timer and eight part-timers, at least at the time of this. Four closed deals, uh, 63 total appointments. Casey Gregory looks like he was leading the way with two deals. Nate Peppercorn and Ernesto both had a deal and uh, has some other hires and stuff going on, uh, which is really cool. CMO's picking up, man. Did you guys see that picture uh, that Dan Preston from CMO sent us? Yeah. I mean, it's a cool little, it's a cool little spot to be at. Um, there's actually a, a business down in Cape Girardeau that I think is wanting to potentially engage us for our service based on kind of some of the news and things that are going on. So um, it, it's a good setup, really good setup. Uh, awards, accolades, here is May of 2024. Breathe it in. Apex SDR for June, Casey Gregory, give him a round of applause. Casey, here you go, here you go. Brock's gonna see Justin soon, is that right? Yeah. We'll hand the sword off to you. Um, 36 appointments scheduled, three deals from June. That's fantastic. Uh, two more on the goal line, six closed deals in three months. That's a fantastic job. Congratulations, Casey. <laughs> Comeback BDR, Tanner Waddell. Tanner's technically a team lead, but he is, you know, helping with business development, working for clients. Uh, took on six clients, just threw them in the saddle. Nine appointments set in two weeks, you know, just going cold. Saved two accounts that otherwise were probably, you know, I, not probably, I talked to him, they were out the door. And uh, he's done a fantastic job. He's just been shoving, man. A lot of appointments. Second all-time in partner appointments, just so you guys know. He took some time away from setting partner appointments. He's still at the top of the board, which is fantastic. Yeah, so congratulations, Tanner. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Cloud scale, getting some appointments, and uh, who else was, was getting some? Concert concerto? I'll just say uh, I'm not going to have this again. I'm going to come back. I just try to stay at the top. <laughs> stay at the top. Mm, MVP. MVP, maybe, huh? Rainmaker, Evan Wolf. <laughs> I think he might be feeling under the weather right now, so send him good vibes. Uh, a little congratulations in the chat, maybe. Two closed deals for 32,000 bucks, 24 closed deals total for his clients. Um, maybe that's just, is that an aggregate so far? Just like a total? Or 24 closed deals in the month? From all of his clients total. Oh, okay, so, okay, good, good. Um, 551,000 total project work closed, and uh, 24,000. 908 total MRR closed. So maybe highlighting a little bit of uh, some of the all time, what he's got going on. Um, I don't know if that included recently what happened with uh, 403 Tech and some of the other deals. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. 403 Tech's coming in to visit us on site. I think he's coming in the middle of August. August 9th. August 9th. Do a little video. Um, 
we've got that studio, might have a little bit more of an informal sit down podcast, you know, kind of talk. And um, I mean, it's just, Evan's done a great job for all of his clients. They all love him. So give him a round of applause. I wish you were here, Evan. And for MVP, Ryan Cantenbreaker. Want to hand it, hand it back to yourself? Hand it to yourself. Um, 27 appointments, six time MVP now, eight consecutive months with the most appointments. Got a closed deal for 141,000 and enjoy that parking space, man. It's pretty good, pretty good. Is it nice having a short walk into the building? It's not bad. All right, all right. Any, any advice from you guys uh, for some of the newer folks? Apex, SDR, Comeback VDR, MVP? Anything going on right now that you're thinking is, they should be looking out for that would help them? Work outside of work. Yeah. Work outside of work? What kind of, what kind of stuff you do? A little prospecting, a little data cleansing? A lot easier to make calls when you have all the direct lines, you know, when you come into work and get done pretty quick. Yeah, that's good. Ah, good point. Somebody mentioned uh, when you're using Zoom Info, maybe it's a better idea to use Zoom Info from the decision makers LinkedIn page. Are you guys doing that as opposed to the company page? You know, try it out. If you're not doing that already, do it. I didn't necessarily know that. I, that's uh, very interesting. Um, Arsenal, uh, July birthdays. Sonia, <laughs> July 8th. What'd you do for your birthday, R real quick, before? Worked. <laughs> Worked? Yeah. How exciting. Uh, you didn't go out to eat or nothing like that? Or? Uh, yeah, hung out with friends. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, Grant Goddard, down Simo. <laughs> 19th. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> What'd you do for your birthday? Go, going up to the Ozarks, okay. Are we already a little boozy? Because don't you go down to the Ozarks? Are we going up? Um, I'm just teasing. Ozarks is south, southwest, right? We go down to the Ozarks from here, right? Debatable. Arsenal July anniversaries. Emma Rogers, one year. Thank you for one year, Emma. Do you have any fond memories or any stories you'd like to share? I don't know if anything will be getting posted on the phone. I forgot about that. I should have moved to Malibu. <laughs> <laughs> that was the pitch? You get to go to Malibu? Yeah, you get to go to Malibu and marry Hey, dude. You take that offer? Who is that? Next time you get it, tell him you know somebody. Hell, hold on a second. I'm going to transfer you. <laughs> Matt Bonebrick! <laughs> any fun stories? Look back and reminisce on anything? I'm just cold calling. We're pretty close. <laughs> yeah, cold call. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. We're going to have to work on you guys. <laughs> Haven't you seen somebody score like 30 points, you know, and they're the player of the game and they just sit there and make a bunch of nonsense up and just got to try hard, you know, work hard, you know, enjoy it, love my team, love, you know, they're just saying a bunch of nothing, but it lasts longer than five seconds. <laughs> I'm going to get, if we do this podcast and we bring you guys on, you're going to have to talk. We're going to have to get you guys talking. Ryan Cattenbreaker. <laughs> Besides all the fame and the fortune and the MVP belts and what, 
what do you look back on finally? Uh, after the last team update, me and Brock and Ben played putt putt around the office, so that was fun. You did, I, yeah, you did, because it scared the shit out of me. Because <laughs> I thought everybody was gone, and I heard somebody moving in the dark in the room over there, and I was like, oh my god, the hell is that? Yeah, who won? You did. I don't remember, but I'm gonna say it. Well, that's right. Ben won. I was surprised. I figured if Brock was involved, if Brock was involved, it would have been rigged, and Brock would have won, right? Is that how it worked? <laughs> you gotta let him win. Ryan Newman, one year. Ryan, thoughts? Been here a year. It's been an absolute pleasure working with everybody. Uh, couldn't, couldn't imagine myself anywhere else. It's a great, great group of people here. So, love that. Dude, perfect. Perfect. This guy's had PR training. It's awesome. Perfect. That could have worked for here, post game interview, like anything. Perfect. New roles, new hire, Schaefer Brown. We forgot about you. Sorry, sorry we missed you a little bit. Sorry, I missed you. How's it been so far? You liking it? Yeah, I love it. Like it? Any fun stories? Anything we're sharing? Anybody proposed to you yet? No. No? Uh, Come back to it later. Sam's pretty funny. Yeah. That's what we, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Sam needed, Sam needed more. What? Sam needed his ego stroked a little more. There we go. Thank you. Love it, love it. Thank you, Schaefer. Down at Simo! Is he here? I don't think so. He's not on the screen. Oh, he's not on the screen. Oh, you got to be here. Got to be here to Ethan. Down at Sebo. He's not on the screen. Not on the screen. He ain't here. Grant. Is Grant there? Curtis. Curtis. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to speed it up so we don't stay too late. Adam, where you at? There you go. How's it been, man? Good, man. I've seen, I feel like I've seen Arsenal on a bunch of different um, transitioning stages, and it's just been a good, good experience watching you guys grow and happy for the future. Watching us grow. Yeah. You're part of it now. Yeah, yep. yeah, exactly. For you guys that don't know, Adam had interned and uh, did a lot of damage and then helped us out at Mizzou and did career fairs and referred a lot of people. I think a lot of you guys already knew him before you started. And Adam, thank you very much for what you did while you worked here, while you weren't working here, and again, while you're working here again. It's been awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> Brenda Rushing. <laughs> Decided to return. What, what, what helped you make up your mind? Why did you... Uh, uh, interned and then decided to come back full time? Uh, I interned, I kind of started applying to jobs with, like right as the semester started, the fall one. So you guys were kind of the first people I had an interview with and I liked how everything was. I enjoyed the interview with the game a lot. So it's been enjoying it all around. The internship was a lot of fun. Just trying to get the fall one again. Good, 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 good. Awesome, man. Thank you. Good to have you back. Especially at the, what do you, do you guys have a nickname for your pod? Redhead pod. The Redhead Pod? So if you, guys have, if you guys haven't noticed, everybody in their pod has red hair. Except for, except for Mike. Mike's got blonde hair. There's a difference. Strawberry blonde. <laughs> Upcoming new hires. We are going to hire Ross Sifford. No relation to Matt Sifford. Actually, it's his brother. Congratulations. Yeah. And 
And then Max Mach, uh, in turn, he's coming back. We're excited to have him in August. August, whew, that's a while out. But uh, give him a round of applause, round of applause. <laughs> All right, we are still offering our uh, employee referral program, 250 bucks after the first 60 days and another 500 after the first year. Everybody's still gotta be here to get the uh, bonus. Uh, it is recruiting season. We are doing a whole bunch of uh, fall recruiting. Um, I mean, let's see, Missouri State, Maryville, SEMO, Mizzou. Um, I will say it's not, com it's not completed, it's not official, but um, it's the prospects of having an on-campus internship program in a similar fashion as uh, Southeast Missouri State is looking very good. So we will hopefully be moved in before uh, the school year starts. Um, we'll see, it's getting kind of close. I'm getting kind of nervous about it. But even if we don't hit it, uh, it is looking good. So if you, uh, you know, see anybody from Maryville or interact with Maryville, tell them to put in a good word and say, we're looking forward to having an arsenal on campus, okay? But again, guys, recruiting heavy. If you have friends, family, uh, again, if, if they're looking for a good place to work and they'll work hard, please refer them. We would love to interview them and hire them. Um, projects and improvements. Uh, we've got the studio pretty much finished up. We're going to go out and uh, kind of price out getting some musical instruments and things like that so that we can have a little creative space. Um, if nothing else, just for entertainment and fun, but we could probably incorporate it somehow. Um, into the business, uh, we'll definitely start running the podcast, and uh, we've got a handful of ideas for it. But you know, the recaps are great. We'll probably start featuring, you know, high performers, good stories, you know, clients, you know, things like that. And uh, uh, the setup, Matt did a great job um, putting up an order sheet. We have a very sophisticated, highly capable uh, studio, you know, so we can have a serious, like almost like TV production type of deal. And uh, um, it's gonna be really exciting. So again, if you are open to being on that, maybe shoot Matt, myself a message and say, yeah, if you ever invite me on, I'd be more than happy. And uh, if you know for a fact you are camera shy and don't wanna be on there, it's okay to let us know ahead of time too. Um, changes to uh, the service, very slight ones. We referenced this earlier. Uh, we're dropping the representative from BDR as a service, it's just business development. As a, They're getting more than uh, representative, they're getting email marketing. There, there's so much more that's in there, and it's a little uh, shorter to say. So, business development as a service, we are raising the price from 39.50 to 41.50, uh, and then the flat rate. This is the largest difference, is uh, going to be $1,500 more as opposed to $1,000 more. This will make them think a little bit more about, hey, you know, uh, should I do flat rate or revenue sharing? Uh, when you start having a lot of meetings with folks who say, why would I ever do revenue sharing? And they say that out loud. You know, you, you kind of need to make some adjustments, okay? The $200 credit is still available if they uh, join up for 12 months uh, without a cancellation policy. So again, very similar. You're just changing the price if you're pitching it. Um, that's all. And then digital marketing as a service, this is our like working logo. I don't know if this will be the final one, but we're gonna offer clients our strategy uh, web, SEO, social, and video as a service. What's that? <laughs> I hate it. Um, uh, we talk to we, we talk to a lot of small businesses, and they don't have the resources to, you know, really do any of this effectively uh, internally. Um, and if they do, that's great. They're probably not a great fit for us. But um, we are. We're actively interviewing. We're getting ready to make a, a couple offers, um, potentially, you know, depending on how uh, it goes up. Regardless, we are going to be building out our digital marketing division. Um, and again, if anybody here is interested in that, go ahead and shoot a message. The best way you move from one position to another is by doing a fantastic job at your current position. It's not a good, uh, you don't fail you know, horribly into a promotion or a, an adjacent move, you know, do a good job and we'll consider you for, for other stuff. But um, again, web, SEO, social as a service, it's pretty much just our current strategy. We're gonna polish up the, the SEO, more or less, get a little bit more of an advanced website. Ours is, ours is pretty basic. It looks good, but it doesn't perform as well, probably as we would like it to. But again, it's all part of the the evolution and genesis of making a company. So um, for 41.50 a month, basically what, what this 
boils down to is for less than $90,000 a year, uh, you can have business development and all facets of marketing pretty much taken care of. Uh, no additional costs, no burden, no platforms to subscribe to, no employee benefit, you know, none of that stuff. These guys can just go out and run their business. And, um, you know, some of that will include, like, when you sign up for a website, you're signing up for the way we do websites, which will have, you know, a DocuSign or some sort of e-signature feature on the website. We're not going to go build somebody, you know, $100,000 custom website and get lost in the weeds. We're going to we're going to do websites, you know, like ours that, that work well, that convert on deals. So in there, again, there's probably tweaks that we make to allow you guys to, to bring prospects to your client's website and talk them through co the contract that's on there to close it, or maybe we're helping. It just kind of depends. But uh, that's the big move. Move it so we've got sales calls and digital marketing that actually converts. Uh, celebrations and accomplishments, bomb pops. Uh, on July 5th, National Bomb Pop Day. That was pretty fun. What was the best? What was the best flavor? It was disgusting. I didn't. It's so gross. I didn't even try it. Who would want a spicy bomb pop? Oh, it was gross. Who ate the most bomb pops? Dila. Oh, you got ratted out. How many did you have? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I thought the nerds, the nerds one looked pretty good. The nerds look good. Um, I like getting a nerd slushie from Sonic. That's, that's kind of the deal. Uh, Truck Norris, July 12th. That was today, man. What, what do we think? What do we think? That's service right there. I didn't even know that they had those tater tots. What kind of tater tots did I get? The honey kind? I ate every single one of them. And like, I almost had to sit down and take a nap. That was bad. Um, should, we, should we invite Truck Norris back out again? It's a good one? It's a good one? Okay. Um, again, food truck ideas, coffee, stuff like that. Shoot it to uh, myself, shoot it to, you know, really shoot it to Laura uh, for sure. Copy me on it if you like. But uh, we'll make sure we get those scheduled. I think it's fun bringing, bringing food trucks and stuff like that out here. Uh, Laura Asher got a new grandson. Yeah. Yeah, that's. That's what I said. What's coming to mind when you hear that? Hmm? My, my cousin Vinny. I, has anybody seen that movie? When I heard that, I was like, oh, it's cousin Vinny. That's awesome. <laughs> my kid's got a cousin Vinny. It's hilarious. Um, Laura Asher also went on a senior trip. Hey! How'd it go? Did you have any highlights you want to share? <laughs> any lowlights? Any lowlights you want to share? Um, well, as many of you know, I turned 60 and had a really good time with my girlfriends. And uh, to, so as not to incriminate myself, I didn't share any pictures of me. Um, but I did, while wearing my warning senior trip in progress t-shirt, I, I did trip at Target. I, I wasn't drinking um, yet. <laughs> I fell and I hit my head and my knee and apparently I broke my toe in that one, but two places. That's why I have a boot on. It was it was great. I did that on day three of ten. But I was fine. I made it. Did you have life alert to to help you up? I did not need my alert because thankfully my friends were videotaping me from the parking lot. Friends were there. Okay. No. Laura, no, don't worry, Casey. Just be busy. It's it different. Cool. Yeah, that's all right. But yeah, we had a lot of fun. We, we went to uh, Panama City Beach and Pensacola and stayed a couple nights in Mississippi, did some gambling, and I did not want to do it. It was very nice of you guys. Evidently, there was a national news, news story about was 
did a six-year-old woman get bit by a shark in this very, was that the story? You, Yeah, well, let's not get dark. Let's not. Jeez. Oh my gosh. I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Because the point was, you guys were thinking about Laura. It was very nice of you. It's a 60 year old woman from St. Louis, and Laura comes to mind. It's so nice of you. To say. Uh, Cam Carlson, little Augie got to meet the grandparents. Yeah, is that the first time? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got about another minute or two. Oh, and uh, up where? Going where? Up in St. Joe's. St. Oh, cool. So they've got some medical stuff going on. They don't really leave the house too much because even pre COVID, they didn't really leave the house. So they got to meet Augie for the first time. We were a little nervous about the masks, but they FaceTime him all the time, like pretty much every day together. So he, he couldn't have cared less. He was so. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a ton of hair, dude. He's got more hair than me. I need to borrow some of that hair. Sean, Ray, a new baby? Oh my gosh. I've learned that I'm supposed to ask you now, when are you due? When is the baby gonna? February 12th. February 12th. Lauren, February 12th. February 12th. Are you excited? Oh yeah. What? Do you when do you are you gonna find out if it's a boy? It's or a girl. girl. So my wife did an early gender like test thing and uh -huh. it came back as a girl. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. Thinking about any names? Do you have names yet? Oh uh, yeah, Ivy. That's the name we decided. Ivy. Ivy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's a good name, man. It's a good name. It's a good name. Well, man, congratulations. <laughs> he looks excited. <laughs> He's very excited. <laughs> Josh Mickens, trip to Destin, Florida. <laughs> Tell us about it, man. How did it go? Good. I didn't get, uh, usually get pretty burnt. Uh, it was pretty good uh, with the sunscreen this year. Some beach time, good seafood. Um, we went to this place called Crab Island on the 4th. It's like a, it's like a little sand crab. bar, Crab Island. C-R-A-P, Crab? B. Oh, me. Crap. It's like crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really cool. It's like a sandbar. You know, it's like deep. We had like a pontoon boat all day. Mm, that's cool. Uh, we saw some fireworks on the beach. Really Dude, congratulations, man. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so here's the upcoming events we've got, at least for now. Truck Norris, we already did that today. It was awesome. Uh, July 24th, we're having the grill out. Uh, we're going to be grilling and chilling as they grill brats for the ABG. So, is it national? Is it hot dog day? Is that what it was? Hot dog day is in there somewhere. Hot dog day is in there somewhere. I said, dude, who, who, who would prefer a bratwurst over a hot dog? Who would prefer a hot dog? <laughs> they said hot dogs, and I was like, I don't know, hot dogs? Let's get brats. Let's get good stuff, you know? So... Brats, uh, to me, they taste better, a little higher quality. I want to treat you guys nice, okay? If you really need a hot dog, let us know. We'll try to figure it out. Uh, just don't let me find out who, who you are. Don't let me see you eating it. Thursday, the, 20, <laughs> the 25th, National Intern Day. We're going to do intern trivia. What, are we going to, like, grill the interns and make them? All right, okay. Uh, August 9th is the, is the update, so, you know, try to be here for that. And then uh, Friday, August 30th, something I'm very proud of that I am looking forward to. Call Ritaville, guys. Call Ritaville. I've been dreaming about Call Ritaville for a long time. Okay. We've got the domain name. We own callritaville.com. We're going to try to do something with that. Okay. We do. Callritaville.com. I mean, that could be another company. That could just be guys drinking margaritas, making calls, as Matthew, Mc Matthew McConaughey, right? All right, all right, let's see, yeah, you know? All right. But call Readville, it's gonna be a blast, and I'm gonna give you a heads up, you know? We're gonna have a lot of fun, let's be responsible, but we're gonna have fun, okay? Um, and then an update on the records. 
did I miss it? Okay. Uh, Arsenal appointments all time. Sam and Tanner and Nick Statuto up top. Miles Murphy. Eesh. Hey, take it up with the board, Nick. Take it up with the board. You have to write an appeal. Take it up with the board. Uh, all time appointments, uh, partner appointments Sam Baker, Tanner Riddell, Joe Schmickens, Cam Carlson, Justin. K oh, man, look at that. That's good. Monthly, Ryan Kettenbreaker. Month. Ooh, right, is he? Hold on. Where's Ryan? Is he not in here, up here yet? We'll be there soon. Okay, okay. And then monthly 40. So that's 40 partner appointments in a single month. Wow, congratulations. Bone breaks getting up there too. Man, it's awesome, awesome. Number of point, number of months with 20 plus partner appointments. Sam still at 10. Cat Breaker is uh, the closest active. Well, yeah, Tanner Riddell's close. Mason, close. Guys, uh, great company. There's a lot of big hitters up there. And uh, if you're not on that list, you certainly can make your way up there. But guys, it's pretty simple. When you work hard, put your head down, stay focused while you're working, you're gonna get results. And uh, again, just don't steal from yourself. If you're gonna be here, be here and make it effective and make money while you're here, you know? And it's cool to look at yachts and pontoon boats and stuff like that. I see some of the stuff you guys look at while I'm walking by. It's pretty wild. Say what? And new BMWs too, right? New BMWs, yeah, whatever you want to buy. Uh, go make some money so that you can do it. And again, we are constantly analyzing and pushing, you know, the limits on, you know, uh, running a good service and uh, increasing pay and benefits. And again, when we started, starting salary was like, what, 30? Yeah. 30, started at 30, no benefits, no nothing. Now we're at 50 and you can quickly get up to 70, you know, with good benefits. So, you know, the dream, the, the goal is, you know, run a company where people can dependably provide for their family, make over $100,000 a year. And, you know, we're not going to do the thing about you can make a, you know, you can make a million dollars here, you know, blah, 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 blah. Maybe someday there'll be a way to do it. But for right now, that short term goal is let's find a way to get everybody to six figures on a single family income if they want to be. Okay, Sam? Roofer in Atlanta, congratulations. All right. All right, we'll keep, we'll keep getting it shorter and shorter. If only about five minutes past, I'm sorry. Thank you guys for staying for the whole thing. That's a great thing to end on. Uh, appreciate you guys. Go have a great weekend. Go be safe. We'll see you next week.